Alright, back again. Today we get out the old Famicom, and I figured we could put in this game here. Castle Excellent. So, pop that in and play some of that. And it's pretty funny, um, I totally forgot that I had this game. Um, I just put up a video of the castle for the Master System. Luckily, uh, one of the guys, SNS1601, uh, reminded me that uh, I actually have this game. Now, this is Castle Excellent. This is the sequel to it. And uh, a couple of things have changed from the uh, the Master System system version. Um, the cool thing about the Master System was that you could change the speed um, that the characters go. This one, they took that away. Instead, they made uh, your uh, first button or your, um, your B button actually an attack instead of the speed changing uh, button. Which is, you know, it's kind of cool that he's got a weapon now and, um, you know, he can fight stuff instead of having to just jump over it. Um, before you get through each stage, you can pan left and right and you can see what the stage has got in store for you and how to go through it. And, um, yeah, it's got a few different puzzles and stuff like that to it, like the original one did. Pretty cool. Getting keys to unlock more doors that you need more keys for. Honestly, I like both of them. They both have their, like, good points, and I think they're both pretty interesting. And, uh, what's cool about it is, you know, when you kill the, the guys off, um, they don't come back. So you don't have to worry about these guys coming back, even if you leave the, the stage. And that's basically how you get through some of these stages, actually, is by, you know, killing them off, coming back into the stage, and then... It'll allow you to get through other parts of the game. And your guy has like this basic position here, um, where he's just standing straight ahead. If you actually want to fight something, you have to physically hold sideways and uh, then press the fight button, because if you don't press sideways, he doesn't launch anything out. He doesn't use his weapon at all, so. And here, to get past this guy here, gets to do is just squash him. And then, like I said, go out of this room here, and as you notice, the guy that we killed the first time is no longer there. When you go back here, that guy's no longer here either. So, this will give you another key that you can get to get up to the top part. And, alright, there we go. Unfortunately, I gotta wait for that to come back down. No, I don't. I'm going, wait, yeah, I do. <laughs> Up at the top, it shows your keys, um, how many of what color key you have, which is kind of cool. I think that the uh, the Master System didn't have that one. It just showed that you had keys, uh, maybe the colors of them, um, not all set up like that, where you can see every single color. But safe! I know, bad joke. These guys shoot stuff at you, so you gotta watch out. Oh no! <laughs> Those crazy kings are back. Back to cause some trouble, back for vengeance. Which one should I go after first? <laughs> the bad puns just keep going, don't they? Ooh. Looks like I'm going over here. Don't shoot me! No! <laughs> you got me! Quite a bit here. Just wait 
wait till he comes back. There we go. This guy's a little bit more tricky to get past, actually. And I don't know how I'm gonna get past him. Which is the bummer. Bummer of the deal. this other part again here. But I think you guys can get a uh, general idea on how this one looks compared to the, uh, the Master System version for sure. Like I said, it's kind of cool that they gave him a knife and stuff, but... I definitely liked the fact that, um, that slowdown, they had that slowdown, because that slowdown was what saved you some of the times, it just allowed you to get over stuff. This one's a little bit more challenging, but I think that's good enough for this video here. Just want to show you a little bit of what Castle Excellent looked like for the uh, uh, good old Famicom, and like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.